All right, welcome back to the Ponix Haven. We've got another exciting video for you on how to build the five gallon watering hydroponic system. Okay, um, you're going to need this pipe here. It's a half inch. You can buy it at Lowe's. Um, it's two foot long. This is a piece that I've cut off. Um, it's $1.94. You're going to need a one inch, one inch um, conduit lock nut out of the electrical department. You're going to need that. You're going to need a, a one inch female or inch and a half, whatever you want to use um, for the top of the lid. But I've got a, um, a one inch, the female one in and a, well, female slide in and then a uh, male threaded okay um you're gonna need some half inch tubing um for your for your um your watering pump you're gonna need Hold on just a second. Oh, Lord. Alright. A half inch. You're going to need a half inch T. You find this. Um, let's see. In the irrigation department of Lowe's Home Depot. Any hardware store. I bought it at Lowe's. Um, you're going to need the... Um, quarter inch line for your air hose for your to get the air down to the to the um line the pipe push the air up so I bought this at uh, Lowe's all this stuff I bought at Lowe's all except the lid which I bought at um, the tractor supply now the lid you want the lid that does not have the little lip on the edge of it um, where it, you don't want that because it's going to hold water you want something that's going to you know reflect most of the water because when you put this in there you don't want it the water sitting right there take a chance of leaking in you want it to be able to run right off um, some of the tools you need will be a tape measure of course a pair of pliers a knife a 5 8 um, butterfly or whatever you want to call that you're going to need some drill bits quarter inch um the other ones just um whatever that you feel like you need to use um the quarter inch will be for the the size of the bolts that you're going to use which is a quarter inch by inch and a half. That is the ones that go in the side, the three that goes in the side. You can buy a three pack at um, Lowe's, I think for just a little over a dollar. Um, it comes three nuts and three, three bolts. It's inch and a half long, quarter inch bolts. Um, well, with a Phillips head on them. So, um all together i spent i got the buckets for free from a chinese restaurant um so the all together it was like 23 dollars to build two of them so it's really inexpensive to build so um all right so let's get in to how to build these things all right First off, you're going to need a five, one of the five gallon buckets. What you're going to do, you're going to cut six, six and an eighth um, off. And what I did, I took this bottle, which is about um, slightly under six inches. And basically what I did, I just held that up there and turned it 
and um, made my mark, gave me a straight mark all the way around it. You can do it with a two by four, or you can take and measure it and mark it all the way around and um, do your thing. But, um, you know, it's a straight cut, so that's, you know, looks good when it's straight. Um, I did the cutting with a um with this does a good job straight cut so um that's what i used to cut it with i like that thing i've used it a lot since i bought one uh 20 25 bucks at um harbor freight so it's not a lot i'm sure if you ever bought one you'll use it so once you get this cut off and you take your knife and clean all the burrs off of it and um what you're going to do is drill holes in it now you can look at it, holes in it I just drilled a few for the drain now this hole here is for the pipe to go through as you can see and what you're gonna have to do you don't have to notch that right there um, I did just in case I wanted my line to go down a little bit further but um, you don't have to do that so once you get that cut right there in the hose drill that this hole right here is a 5 8 drill bit um I actually used a 3 quarter um because if you use a 5 8 you're going to have to take your knife and kind of wheel it out just a little bit so it'll so it's tight or loosen it up where it ain't so tight I just used a 3 quarter and went ahead and buzzed through it um once you get that done, set that aside. Now, you know your measurement, mine's exactly six and an eighth from the top of this to the bottom of it. You're gonna need your measurement for that. Okay, now if you'll pay attention that um you see this lip, when you put this lid down on it, it's about an eighth of an inch below it. So you're looking at three-eighths of an inch that lid is going to set down in on that bucket so what you've got to figure is that you've got to add uh, three-eighths to it, six and an eighth so it comes to six and a half and so you, you're going to drill your three holes to six and three quarters okay because you've got to have, if you drill it at six and six and a half, you're still going to have a, um, it's still going to be too tight because you've got to allow the center of the bolt. So I just went to six and three quarters and you three, you drill your three holes in there and put your bolts on it, tighten them down real tight as you can get them. You may need a screwdriver to tighten up. I didn't need a screwdriver to tighten mine up. So once you get it tight, you'll find that when you set that thing down in there, it's it's about, I would say, three-eighths of an inch from the top, okay? And when you put your lid on it and you fashion it down, you can hear it. It's tight. It, it's not moving around. When it's moving around, what you hear is that side to side, but it's not bouncing up and down in there. So, now you got that tight. You got your hose drilled for the bottom of the bucket. You've got all that. You've got the hole drill for the pipe that goes through to the bottom. Okay. Now, you're going to need to measure a piece of pipe to six and three quarters I mean not six and three quarters um sorry about that 12 and three quarters okay measure 12 and three quarters and once you get it cut you can cut this it's real soft you can cut it with a pocket knife you can probably cut it with a pair of scissors but i'd rather use a pocket knife or a razor blade or whatever just don't cut yourself and once you get it cut um you're gonna you're gonna cut an angle on there because once you set it down onto the bucket 
you don't want it to be able to suction um, and not be able to get the water in there so you need to put it in an angle so it can pull the water to push it up to the top to run into the thing but once you get that then you measure down two or three quarters or three inches and what you're going to do you're going to drill a hole the size you need to get the drill bit and it's going to it needs to be the same size this is a quarter inch line so you're going to need the size of that the same size of that hole because you want it somewhat tight and um, you're going to drill you're going to drill the hole in there but once you get it through once you get it through you're going to have to turn it sideways do not go through the other side you just want the hole on one side and you need to take and do it in an angle okay to get so that that line can go in there in an angle and what you're going to do is take your knife and clean all those burrs and stuff out of there okay All right, once you get that, you should be able to slide that line down in there. Okay? All right. Now, we got it to where it slides down in there. All right. Now, once you get that done, you're going to take and put your teeth on. Push it down in there. Right, and you want it, this to be on the back of the tee. 